Every day we use energy without a second thought. But what if the power we rely on isn't as secure as we think? What if the answer isn't on land at all, but somewhere unexpected? It's hidden, deep below the waves, where a silent connection is transforming the way we power our world. Could the future of UK energy be buried beneath the sea? And if so, what else is possible? Stretching 765 kilometers, the 1.4 gigawatt Viking Link runs over land and under the sea to connect the energy grids of the UK and Denmark. A joint venture between the UK's national grid and Denmark's Energinet, June 2024, saw the first electricity flow through Viking Link. The two countries can now exchange energy generated by offshore wind turbines in the North Sea and balance their grids when wind power is variable. In its first year of operation, Viking Link is estimated to save 600,000 tonnes of carbon, equivalent to taking roughly 280,000 internal combustion engine cars off the road. During construction of the onshore cable route in Lincolnshire, Siemens Energy installed a hydrogen fuel cell to provide off-grid power. An Anglo-Saxon burial ground was uncovered when digging this route. Amongst the buried were also items of rich historical significance, including knives, jewellery and pottery. The subsea cables manufactured and installed by the Italian company Prismian were laid at depths of 50 to 60 metres by the $185 million cable-laying vessel called Prismian Leonardo da Vinci. The five-year construction of Viking Link was a true collaboration between many companies and people, with an estimated four million hours spent working on it. In April 2024, Viking Link earned the accolade of the world's longest onshore and subsea high-voltage direct current interconnector from the Guinness World Records. According to the National Grid, in its first decade, Viking Link will have enough capacity to power 2.5 million UK households and save 500 million pounds in energy bills. But Viking Link is just the start. Many more interconnectors are being planned across the UK and Europe to link national power grids that will see electricity flow freely across the continent.